What's going on everybody? Happy holidays. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and today we are doing a spice haul. Journeyed it out to my favorite store, Grills of Mississippi, and picked up a new spice. And I was given a few other new choice spices from a follower of the channel. And uh, what we're gonna do, as usual, we're gonna talk about the products, we're gonna pop them open, talk about the ingredients, talk about the color, and we're gonna take a sample and give you a direct review. So, let's get to it. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell icon and ensure that you can keep up with all the updates that are coming from the channel. So, today, we got three spices Crawford's barbecue pork and poultry alamo dust we have butcher's barbecue original blend honey rub and we have keith's farm sweet barbecue seasoning sweet rub seasoning so we'll start with this one first this one's given to me by a follower of the channel a friend of mine named vic we're gonna do something we don't normally do but talk about the ingredients ingredients sugar salt paprika garlic powder onion powder black pepper red pepper liquid smoke Hmm. Oil of nutmeg, chili spice, monosodium glutamate, and silicon dioxide as an anti-caking agent. Shake it up. These are fresh as you can see. Pop the seal. And we'll talk about what we see. This is extremely amber colored. Um, very liquid smoke it's real punchy in this one um, it's not bad very good amber color uh, doesn't really pick up a ton of pepper on the seasonings on the uh, look side of it as far as the balance but let's see what happens we give it a shake give it a, on the packer blend go ahead and pour a little bit in take a look at that color looks pretty good and take a hit and see what it tastes like now there are a lot of different sweet rubs out there. Um, this one gives a tomatoey residue. I'm sorry, tomatoey aftertaste, which is not bad. And um, it's decent on the sweet side. It's not too heavy. It starts off kind of heavy, but it lightens up in the end. So you could probably layer this on pretty thick and get a pretty good end product. That being said, if you're looking to grab this, probably can grab it from Amazon or your neighborhood grocer because it looks like it's a pretty common blend doesn't look like anything that you'd have to go directly to a barbecue store or anywhere else to grab so hey so keeps farm sweet barbecue rub seasoning award-winning memphis recipe give you a thumbs up good job moving along we have butcher's barbecue original blend honey rub trust your butcher is their slogan ingredients on this one let's see sugar honey powder cane sugar honey, salt, spices, paprika, dehydrated garlic, refined soybean oil, uh, paprika, and anti-caking agents. I'll just go ahead and say that because I'm sick of saying that word. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the top on this one and we'll talk about the color. This is my first butcher's block, I'm sorry, butcher's barbecue product. Um, excited to kind of bring them into the fold. I uh, did a taste test of one of the others that I haven't that I haven't really talked about yet, but it'll be on the next spice haul. Um, and as always, these are great research for myself as I will be working on my own spice in 2020. Um, directly from the packer, as you can see, nice orange color, light orange, hinge red, not very heavy. Um, looks and smells good. So we'll give it a shake. Get us a from the plant from the packer blend as you can see it's honey rub you most definitely get a lot of tan in there from the dehydrated honey You've got some other things in there i can't really make out a lot of the paprika unless it's just really light or lighter shade um but hey let's see how it tastes believe it or not i would use this on a brisket just to be different very good taste um not heavy whatsoever smooth going in after taste is very good doesn't leave a nasty taste in your mouth at all even on from a dry aspect you could even probably put this on some fries and go crazy look forward to trying to do that butcher barbecue original blend honey rub good job guys keep up the good work and last but not least crawford's barbecue pork and poultry alamo dust 
this product uh, I use Crawford's beef rub and a couple of Crawford's pit juices I've been very satisfied with their product so far I expect this to be nothing less than good um, they have been kind of standing their ground with me as far as a, from a taste aspect um, ingredients let's go down sugar salt brown sugar monosodium glutamate anti-caking black pepper paprika garlic onion chili powder ground chili ground chili pepper spices spice extract silicon dioxide let's go ahead get this opened up take their freshness seal off and whoever packs crawford's um spices you deserve uh, uh you deserve an award <laughs> Just off top, I won't be able to shake this to get more mixed up than what it already is, but you can already see large pepper flakes. Looks very good. You can see the paprika. You can see the sugar. It's just all there from the look of it. Very even uh, on the color and spice balance. So we'll go ahead. We'll just go ahead and pop the top and put a little bit in our hand. See what we got. So again, that pepper stands out amazing you can see the flakes you can see the sugar in there uh it's a very good ensemble of spices they put together here so let's taste it see what it tastes like smooth going in you get a punch from that pepper about halfway in and then going down it's not bad at all uh it's not an overpowering punch from the pepper it's a very good seasoning Tastes more like an AP to me, but pork and poultry, I can also see it on. So I look forward to trying this also on maybe a um, pork butt. Let's see how that goes. As always, guys, these spices you can find at some of your local grocers, Amazon, or in Mississippi's largest grill store, Grills of Mississippi. Make sure you follow everything that we do on the channel. Like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright, and as always, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.